next talk is uh, by Anton Sokolov, a uh, uh, photophilic hadronic axon from heavy magnetic monopoles. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Anton Sokolov. Uh, uh, I'm a PhD student at the DAISY Theory Group, and uh, I want to thank a lot the organizers for a very uh, interesting workshop uh, on dark matter. Uh, today, I would like to tell you about uh, our recent work uh, done in collaboration with Andreas Ringwald on uh, the photophilic hadronic axion uh, from heavy magnetic monopoles. Uh, so um, uh, first, uh, let me present the outline of the talk. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to uh, tell you about the motivation for this talk. Why do we need to consider other uh, axion models? Uh, so the motivation, uh, uh, comes both from the experimental side uh, and uh, from the theoretical side of uh, Axion. Uh, then, uh, because uh, uh, my talk will concern uh, magnetic monopoles, I will uh, uh, make a brief reminder on uh, uh, magnetic monopoles and on uh, the quantum electromagnetic dynamics, so the quantum field theory of uh, which includes both electric and magnetic charges. Then I will discuss our axiom models, uh, which involves uh, abelian uh, monopole, so that uh, uh, the monopole carrying uh, only electromagnetic uh, magnetic charge. Uh, and uh, then uh, we will discuss a more complicated case, uh, which is uh, the non-abelian monopole. So uh, this is the case of the magnetic monopole, which uh, carries uh, uh, the color magnetic charge. So first, uh, uh, why do we need to consider other axion models? So in fact, uh, there are many hints for the axion and uh, 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 many different uh, uh, explanations. Why do we need uh, such a particle as axion? So first of all, historically, it's uh, the strong CP problem. So uh, that uh, instant on uh, process in QCD suggests that, this, uh, that the CP symmetry uh, should be violated or uh, yeah, so there is no reason why should it uh, be uh, not broken, but uh, we see that uh, the uh, neutron does not have uh, electron dipole moment, electric dipole moment in experiments. So then uh, the CP symmetry is apparently conserved in QCD. So uh, there is a, a naturalness problem there. Uh, then uh, there is a problem uh, of uh, cosmological model that uh, we do not still uh, know what is uh, the dark matter. Uh, and uh, then uh, it turns out uh, that uh, axion via the misalignment mechanism or via the topological defects can provide a very nice explanation of uh, what makes cold dark matter. Uh, then uh, there are several astrophysical uh, uh, hints to axion. Uh, first of all, this is the anomalous TV transparency of the universe. So, uh, so that uh, the, we observe uh, too many gamma rays from distant blazers, uh, uh, such that uh, the universe is too transparent to them uh, compared to our theoretical predictions. And uh, it is assumed that uh, axions, uh, that uh, gamma rays, which uh, uh, are emitted by the blazer, Convert, uh, convert it into axions in its magnetic field, in the magnetic field of the parent galaxy, and then they reconvert uh, in, in, our, uh, in, the in the magnetic field close to our galaxy back into gamma rays. Uh, so that's why uh, the universe is more transparent uh, than uh, we thought. And uh, another hint uh, is less uh, significant, but uh, I think it is still discussed that uh, the horizontal branch stars in globular clusters uh, seem uh, to lose energy too fast. And uh, this can be explained by some uh, light uh, particles which are emitted uh, directly from the cores of these stars and which extract energy from these stars. Uh, so then let me proceed to the theoretical motivation. Uh, so uh, we have... Uh, uh, KSVZ like axiom models and DFZ uh, axiom models. So in this talk, uh, I would like to uh, uh, first mention the KSVZ like axiom models, and actually our model will uh, be will look uh, much uh, similar to the KSVZ axiom model. So uh, 
what can we, uh, uh, okay, let us critically review case VZ like action models. So first, of course, we introduce the Piché Queen field uh, with the potential which allows for the Piché Queen uh, anomalous symmetry to be broken spontaneously in the early universe uh, at high temperature. Uh, and uh, then uh, in, uh, so the first uh, point is similar for all axiom models, but uh, the second uh, point here uh, is uh, inherent to the case with that like models is that we introduce uh, a new uh, vector-like quark, uh, which is uh, charged under SU3 initially in case with that model, but then in case with that like model, we can also assume that it's charged under the gauge uh, uh, symmetries of the standard model. And here we will uh, not uh, touch uh, the weak part of the uh, of physics. So uh, we are not concerned with uh, interactions factions with W and Z bottles. So we will just uh, consider that psi is charged under SU3 color and uh, U1 electromagnetic uh, subgroups. And uh, uh, then uh, the, this Lagrangian is uh, introduced, which involves uh, gauge uh, interactions of Psi and interactions of Psi with the uh, Pichaquin field. Uh, so uh, then uh, uh, normally after the symmetry, after the Pichaquin symmetry breaking, uh, fields uh, Psi, so uh, quarks uh, obtain uh, large masses and then uh, they can be integrated out uh, from our uh, UV Lagrangian and we arrive at the effective axion Lagrangian, uh, which you see here, and it contains uh, interactions of axions with electric and with the product of electric and magnetic field, as well as uh, interaction of axion with gluons, which uh, solves uh, the strong CP problem. Uh, so now uh, we uh, wanted to ask the question, can one relax uh, any of the assumptions which is made uh, in this uh, uh, model. Uh, so, and in fact, the first point, as I said, is inherent just to the Piché Queen uh, mechanism. So it's hard to relax it, I guess. So then uh, we want uh, to look critically at the second uh, uh, cloud here. And uh, uh, one can just uh, ask what if we take uh, not uh, uh, some special exotic vector like fermion, but just generic vector-like fermion. And we assume any gauge interactions possible. So one can say what can be <laughs> more generic than just gauge interactions of the uh, standard model. So here we have uh, color interaction and electromagnetic interaction. Uh, so uh, what else can we take? So uh, in fact, uh, uh, it is known that uh, these uh, uh, gauge interactions, uh, which are uh, U1 electromagnetic SU3 color, uh, are, uh, so to say, electric interactions, and they are not the only one option which is possible in quantum theory. Indeed, uh, uh, in 1931, Dirac uh, showed uh, that, uh, in fact, in the quantum theory, one can have not only electric charge for a particle, uh, but uh, also the magnetic charge. And uh, he, sh he showed it just uh, continuing the considerations uh, which led uh, 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 to the gauge principle. So in fact, uh, he considered two wave, wave functions with uh, undetermined phases so that uh, the phases do not carry physical meaning. However, what uh, we want uh, to be physical is uh, the modular square of the metric element. Uh, so the agreement of these two states, Psi one and Psi two, it should have definite value. And then uh, we one can derive that uh, the change of phase over some closed loop should be the same for all the wave functions. And this uh, was uh, the gauge principle initially. Uh, however, Dirac noted that uh, there is no reason for it, uh, uh, for these uh, two uh, changes in, in the phase over the closed loop to be equal. They can be different by uh, 2 pi n uh, because uh, the phase is not uh, sensitive to this uh, 2 pi uh, addition. Uh, and then uh, he derived that this would lead, uh, in fact, to the uh, existence of magnetic charges and the possibility of electric magnetic interactions. So uh, uh, the special interactions uh, between uh, electric particles from the one side and magnetic uh, from the other side. 
And uh, this can be just if we take uh, this integer n not to be equal to zero. Uh, so then uh, uh, also uh, he showed that uh, in this, uh, uh, from this view, he can easily explain the quantization of charge, which is observed in nature. Uh, and uh, he said that one would be surprised if nature had made no use of it. And uh, really, uh, he saw that uh, the magnetic monopoles are very probable uh, uh, next uh, particles which will be discovered. However, as we know, uh, our lower energy theories, so the standard model, uh, are electric, uh, and we do not, did not find any magnetic charges. Uh, but uh, so, as far as I know, the reason for this uh, uh, for that is not known. And indeed, when we introduce some, some new particles into UV, it's uh, the most natural thing is to consider that they have both electric and magnetic charges, because this is the most generic situation, which is suggested by the quantum mechanics. Uh, so now let us uh, uh, consider this generic new Fermion in case with it like models, now having a magnetic charge also. Uh, so, but first, uh, let me... Uh, remind you uh, how to deal with the uh, magnetic charges in the, in the quantum field theory. Uh, so um, the quantum field theory of uh, electric and magnetic charges uh, was discovered uh, in uh, 60s and 70s. And uh, first, these were some non-local theories uh, by Schwinger. But then uh, Zwanziger found a local uh, Lagrangian for this theory, uh, so which you see here in the cloud. And it uh, involves two vector potentials. So one vector potential A couples to the electric current and uh, the second vector potential B couples to the magnetic current. Uh, and uh, the kinetic term in this theory is very special. Uh, it's uh, different from what we have in uh, uh, the U1 uh, gauge theory normally. Uh, it uh, involves also some uh, fixed uh, vector N mu. So the Lagrangian is not uh, uh, manifestly Lorentz invariant, actually. Uh, so uh, also let me uh, note that, of course, these two vector potentials describe uh, one particle. So indeed, uh, uh, the, it is not like introducing the hidden photon. Uh, uh, the number of degrees of freedom is still two. And uh, these uh, two vector potentials are interrelated also, although the relation is not uh, uh, cannot be resol resolved somehow. And uh, if we want to uh, leave only one vector potential, like in uh, quantum electrodynamics, then uh, we will uh, inevitably get some uh, non-local theory. So local theory is possible with two vector potentials. Uh, and so, but the theory uh, was uh, like uh, seemingly non-Lorentz invariant uh, because of this n mu. But then uh, later, uh, several years later, it was shown that indeed, uh, at least formally, it is Lorentz invariant. So when you perform the path integral, uh, uh, so you see that uh, the result is not does not depend on uh, this fixed uh, four vector. So the partition function uh, of the theory is actually Lorentz invariant. Uh, so another uh, funny thing about this theory is that uh, it is uh, not possible to have a, a spin zero uh, electric particle and spin, spin one half magnetic particle. So we need to have a, a electric and magnetic particles should carry the same spin. Uh, why it is not possible? Uh, because uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the pair of particles, electric and magnetic one, carry additional spin in it. Uh, so they are actually, uh, such called, uh, uh, they uh, they are uh, transforming the pairwise representation of the uh, Pankore group, and uh, then they have this additional spin. And if we have spin zero and spin one half particle and additional spin one half, uh, we can uh, get uh, uh, that uh, the total angular momentum is zero, and uh, the electric particle can probe uh, the core of the magnetic particle. But uh, quantum mechanics is uh, and Zwanziger theory will be then inconsistent uh, because of uh, that the Jacobi identity cannot be satisfied in uh, like at the point uh, of the magnetic particle. 
So in a, but uh, so the Zwanziger theory and uh, theory of magnetic charge works perfectly if uh, we have uh, uh, like spin one half uh, only spin one half particles charged uh, electrically or magnetically and this is the case in our model so we will introduce additional spin one half uh, magnetic particle uh, so additionally to spin one half uh, fermions uh, of the standard model like electron. Uh, so uh, let me proceed. And uh, then uh, also what will be important then in Twansiga theory, we will not need this uh, strange looking uh, kinetic term. We will need uh, interactions of the magnetic current with uh, this second uh, B vector potential. Uh, so now uh, let us write the Lagrangian for the axial model with a abelian monopole. So we, we want uh, to uh, introduce some quark so SU3 particle and uh, which will be also, which will carry also electromagnetic magnetic charge. So here you want magnetic. And uh, then we want to see uh, what comes out of it. What will be the effective uh, inferent uh, Lagrange Lagrangian. So we assume that this particle is a fermion as I said already. So uh, then uh, we just write the KSVZ Lagrangian and uh, we see uh, that here, uh, the one change is that now we allow also for the particle to carry the magnetic charge. So the particle, this psi can also carry electric charge, but uh, as we will see phenomenologically, uh, the electric charge is not significant. So let us uh, stick to the case where it has only magnetic charge. Uh, and also let me note that since uh, this particle is a quark, uh, uh, the Piché-Quinn mechanism uh, is uh, uh, in the strong sector works absolutely the same. And uh, uh, so uh, we are sure that uh, the strong CPU problem is solved in this uh, model. So we only changed uh, now only the electromagnetic part. So uh, also because uh, standard model quarks have uh, the fractional charges, the minimal magnetic charge in this model is uh, six pi over E. So, uh, now we want to integrate out these heavy monopoles. For that, uh, we introduce a linear representation for the Pichaquin field. And uh, after the symmetry breaking, we have uh, this uh, Lagrangian, so of uh, the axion field. Uh, and uh, we got uh, the pseudoscalar interaction of axion with the uh, psi fields. And uh, also, the theory is non perturbative because the charges. The magnetic charge is very large, 6 pi over electric charge. Uh, still, this uh, form of interaction, uh, pseudoscalar one, allows us for uh, exact calculation in this uh, setting. Uh, so we can actually calculate the vacuum expectation value of this uh, current uh, and uh, uh, using the Schwinger proper time method. And uh, we obtain the result, which involves still uh, these four potentials which couple to the magnetic current, uh, but uh, because uh, this uh, field B in the method is some external field, so that uh, uh, one can say that these uh, uh, high energy fermions, they do not feel changes in our uh, low energy experimental field, yes. So then uh, we can use the relation between the potentials, which is uh, satisfied uh, for the free theory, uh, and uh, rewrite uh, this in terms of the familiar A for potential and in terms of the familiar electric and magnetic fields. Uh, so we see that in the end, uh, because we had a magnetic charge here, uh, and it is introduced as magnetic charge squared, uh, we got uh, the dependence uh, of uh, the axion photon coupling uh, as uh, one over alpha squared, where alpha is a strong, uh, the fine structure constant. So this means uh, that uh, the axion photon coupling is uh, uh, much enhanced in this uh, model. And indeed, let me come to the phenomenology part. Uh, so here you can see the plot with uh, uh, existing uh, constraints on uh, uh, axion parameter space on the uh, axion photon coupling here uh, uh, versus the mass uh, here on the horizontal axis. Uh, and uh, 
uh, here in the diagonal is shown are shown the conventional QCD axion models, so case VZ models and DFZ models. For case VZ, we just uh, draw a, a band which corresponds to uh, a different assignment of charges. So like one can assign electric charges differently here and got a, a bit different uh, uh, coupling to photons. Uh, so, uh, but uh, so in uh, when we have only electric charge here, uh, so, uh, and also we show the hints. So here is the horizontal branch stars hints uh, about which I was talking. And here is uh, the TEV transparency hint, uh, which I was talking about. Um, now, uh, when we introduce, uh, uh, when we uh, relax uh, this assumption of the case with z like models that the charges are only electric, we obtain uh, this line. Uh, so that's what we calculated in the previous transparency. And one can see that uh, the axion photon coupling is indeed uh, very much enhanced and uh, it is closer to this uh, NMLS transparency hints. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, also, as I said, in the strong sector, the model is analogous to KSVZ. So we got uh, the same uh, cold dark matter abundance uh, and the same uh, elec uh, electric uh, dipole moment couplings. Uh, in this model. So, and uh, indeed, of course, one can uh, probably also uh, draw a band here if we assume that the magnetic charge is not minimal, but like two minimal magnetic charges, three, then this uh, line will go up. Um, so now let me discuss the upcoming experiments. So that's what uh, Andreas was talking about several days ago. So uh, indeed, this model is in the reach of ALPS2, baby Ayaxo, Ayaxo, so, uh, and many uh, future experiments. Also, uh, if uh, so, uh, if it constitutes dark matter, then it can be probed by Abracadabra and uh, probably Clash and uh, other uh, different experiments here. Um, Okay, so let me come now to the model with non-abelian uh, magnetic monopole. So in this case, we uh, further generalize our model and uh, assume that now uh, the magnetic monopole uh, is also has also the color magnetic charge. So, but unfortunately, there is no Zwantiger-like uh, QFT which would involve both electric and magnetic uh, non-abelian charge. Uh, so this is a big obstruction to uh, for us to uh, to understand what happens in this case. Uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, uh, some time ago, uh, Goddard, Nutz, and Oliver made an important observation about the non-abelian magnetic monopoles that uh, uh, the charge quantization condition, which is here, written here. Uh, uh, that uh, it can be solved for this beta, which are magnetic charges. Uh, so it can be solved and uh, one can show that actually this beta lie uh, in the weight lattice of uh, the dual, uh, of the Langlands dual uh, gauge group. So if uh, we assume that uh, the electric couplings uh, are uh, in the gauge, in some gauge group, so for example, SU3 color, then uh, magnetic charges uh, we lie in the weight lattice of uh, uh, the uh, dual group. And uh, in fact, uh, then they uh, uh, conjecture that uh, the magnetic uh, gauge group, uh, so the gauge group in which uh, the magnetic charges transform is actually Langland's dual of the electric gauge group. Uh, and uh, for the simplest groups, uh, uh, it, it is known that, uh, so the Langland's dual of U1 is U1, uh, so as we saw in Twansiger theory, we got actually U1 electric and U1 magnetic uh, for dions. And uh, here uh, for the SU3 group, uh, it is also just transformed to the SU3 under the dual trans uh, transformation modulo some uh, discrete uh, group factors. So um, now uh, let us write uh, the Lagrangian for the case with that uh, uh, so, which is like a case with Z Lagrangian, but with, but with these magnetic charges. So we introduce uh, the now the non-abelian uh, uh, gauge fields here, 
and due to the GNO conjecture, we assume that uh, the part, uh, the non-abelian part looks like this. BA are some non-abelian fields, uh, du non-abelian dual fields. And uh, then uh, we uh, can write this Lagrangian again. And now, uh, since monopole has also color magnetic charge, uh, the quantization uh, condition uh, um, is different from the case with the abelian monopole. And indeed, it involves both uh, non-abelian parts uh, as well as the abelian part. And now, uh, because quarks, which have uh, uh, fractional electric charge, they also have color charge, uh, it is possible uh, to uh, have uh, the minimal Dirac uh, magnetic uh, charge value in this theory. So actually, the minimal magnetic charge is uh, 2 pi over E. So just uh, uh, the direct magnetic charge. And uh, then uh, uh, let us see if this uh, model strong, solves the strong CP problem. Uh, this is not trivial because now we changed uh, the, uh, so we changed the electric color group by some magnetic color group. So uh, how to relate this to the theta parameter and uh, uh, to the strong CP problem? This is the question. Uh, and uh, first we do the now, uh, this uh, decomposition of the Pichekman field uh, with the exponent. And uh, we then uh, rotate uh, uh, fermions, uh, this new new fermions in the Lagrangian. And uh, what is left uh, uh, is uh, the Fujikawa contribution, which comes uh, from the measure of the path integral, which involves a trace of uh, this uh, non-abelian uh, uh, fields, C, uh, non-abelian magnetic fields. Uh, and uh, uh, so now we uh, want to relate it somehow uh, to the strong CV problem and uh, the same uh, uh, density in QCD, uh, so which is uh, GG dual. So, but here uh, this density involves some, uh, so to say, dual gluon fields. Uh, so, but we want uh, to connect it to the normal gluon fields. Because we don't know how the theory looks like, uh, how the non-abelian QFT looks like, uh, uh, we want to uh, get something familiar to us. So uh, for this reason, uh, uh, we come to the, so we uh, invoke abelian tooth gauges, which allow us to, uh, uh, to rewrite uh, this uh, uh, trace in terms of only the abelian components. Uh, so this equality is non-trivial also, but uh, uh, it had, so it is true uh, because uh, um, the, uh, so to say the, the of diagonal parts, so not uh, third and eighths, uh, they, uh, they got some masses uh, in the abelian tooth gauges, and then uh, they do not contribute for this integral at the infinity. So there are more subtleties, but this is uh, the main reason why we can just rewrite this as uh, uh, the abelian uh, uh, field strength standards, so this product of the abelian field strength standards. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, the same uh, can be done in uh, uh, QCD. So with G, G dual term, we can also rewrite it uh, as the sum over uh, the uh, only third and eighth component in this uh, particular gauge. And uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, now use our uh, intuition uh, from uh, the abelian theories because now QCD uh, SU3 group is reduced to U1 squared. And now we are in the realm of uh, abelian gauge theory and uh, abelian Zwanziger theory. So, uh, because we are interested in the vacuum configurations here only uh, uh, for the uh, strong CP problem. Uh, we are, uh, so we have electric magnetic symmetry and uh, we can uh, use uh, this, again, the relations between this uh, electric and magnetic field strengths and uh, related to the gluon fields. So to the, so say to the electric, to the normal electric fields of uh, uh, which we use in quantum chromodynamics. And then, uh, uh, so the theta term in this gauge is uh, this, uh, so it is reduced to this uh, uh, density of this uh, building components. And uh, the axion uh, uh, term uh, is uh, reduced because of this uh, uh, 
equality here, it is reduced uh, to the same integral actually. And we see that again, uh, uh, like in normal piche queen mechanism, the axion, axion uh, field uh, uh, can absorb the theta parameter. So in fact, uh, uh, we get uh, uh, in front of this uh, digit dual term, we get uh, some, uh, uh, some field, so some axion field. And then uh, due to the waffle witten theorem uh, we, in the vector-like theory, uh, we uh, see that uh, this uh, uh, term should be zero, so that uh, the, uh, this field should relax to zero. Uh, in, and uh, indeed, the strong CP problems then solved just uh, the same way as it is solved in the, uh, in the normal uh, case of, uh, in the normal pitch Queen mechanism. So finally, uh, the last slide. I've been talking for 30 minutes by now. Yeah, yeah. so one minute, yes. So then, uh, yeah, we can derive the effective flow energy Lagrangian. It is done absolutely analogous to, analogously to what we had in the billion uh, case. So we can use the Schwinger proper time method, and it is just straightforwardly generalized to the non-abelian uh, symmetries. And uh, uh, then, uh, uh, just because uh, still we get here, initially we get uh, the dual gluons, dual gluon field strengths here. And uh, then uh, we have a relation only for the abelian field strengths. Uh, we have something else uh, which is left after we convert to the normal gluonic fields. And this is L, uh, this Lagrangian part of diagonal part. And this part is uh, in fact, uh, uh, is, is uh, interaction of axion, but only with uh, two or three of diagonal gluon fields. So of diagonal, I mean, uh, not uh, third and eighth gluons. So, and these, uh, uh, these interactions are uh, expected to be small in the infrared uh, because of the abelian dominance in uh, infrared QCD, which is derived both on the lattice and theoretically. Uh, so, uh, I, and, uh, but this term sh can still be non-zero probably, but uh, assumed to be small, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, finally, let me note that the axion, glue, uh, axion photon coupling in this case depends on the strong uh, coupling constant alpha s. Uh, yes, uh, so this is the uh, interesting feature of the theory. And because of that, uh, we get, so in this again, in the, flow, in the plot of uh, photon coupling and uh, axion mass, uh, we get again, uh, we get not uh, just a single line, but some bend uh, because of the uncertainty in uh, the strong coupling constant. So yeah, I, I, uh, I think there is a motivation to think that it is equal to pi from some ADS QCD arguments and some other uh, observations, uh, um, but we leave a bend because this is a, a question which is uh, di disputed now. So yes, and then uh, in the strong sector, it is not uh, fully analogous to case with Z because of the soft diagonal gluon contribution. And uh, uh, then, however, because of abelian dominance, we uh, still expect uh, approximately the same called like meta abundance and approximately the same uh, uh, electric dipole moment coupling. So, okay, uh, the conclusion. Uh, so, uh, you know, relax, relax an assumption of case with that like axiom models and found a new family of QCD axiom models. And this uh, add to standard model uh, still just one heavy particle of psi and the queen field. Uh, and the, these models are photophilic, uh, uh, can be probed in the near future experiments and uh, can explain various hints about which I was talking. So like quantization of charge and uh, trans CP conservation and uh, astrophysical hints. So, okay, uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Anton, for your talk. Uh, please, questions. Yes, Valery. Anton, I didn't understand your point concerning this of diagonal terms. Mm -hmm. uh, the axion is gauge uh, is is uh, a singlet under SU3 color, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to get uh, gauge invariant uh, effective low energy Lagrangian, right? And uh, it cannot have, uh, you know, uh, different 
terms with the diagonal and off diagonal terms. Mm -hmm. So your L off must be uh, gauge invariant under RCU3 and the lowest, lowest uh, uh, dimension operator is just what has been, what is written there, G mm -hmm. times G do. I can't understand how you can get anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, uh, uh, I agree. So it can be still zero. So actually in, uh, it is just uh, in, in this particular model when we integrate out uh, fermions and then uh, we connect, uh, uh, I don't know, it uh, cannot be uh, shown uh, uh, rigorously that it comes to zero, but in classical theory, so there is some classical model uh, of, uh, uh, this non abelian magnetic charges, and there uh, one can show that it is zero. So, this uh, of diagonal terms. Yeah, it's so, not zero by gauge invariance. Another question is uh, the factor G S squared in the in the, in the uh, G G dual term. I don't understand it. It should be Here? inverse of it, G right? Squared. It should be magnetic uh, color charge, right? And magnetic color charge, just like in U one case, magnetic color charge. Mm -hmm. Is it mostly proportional? Yes, yeah, so here, yeah, you're right, but uh, here I already uh, put uh, the magnetic charge into the axion decay constant. So, and that's why uh, this uh, uh, strong coupling appears in the axion photon uh, ah. coupling here. So, we just redefined. Uh, so, in the beginning, we have here this uh, pH queen scale, and then we define the uh, the axion decay constant F. Ah, so this F A is not a pH queen scale, right? No, no. So it uh, it's different that it contains, uh, uh, yeah, it contains this uh, strong coupling in it, and that's why also this photon axion photon coupling also depends on uh, the uh, on the this strong uh, uh, coupling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I see. Right. Igor, please. Uh, yeah. Anton, uh, during his presentation, Andreas told me that in your model, uh, abundance of axions is different. It's not like standard CDM abundance. And you told that it's similar. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> that must no, be. No, no, it's this, was, this was another, this was the model with Pablo. No, 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 not, not another model. But the model with monopoles, he told also the same CDM abundance, no? Go to... Yeah, yeah, so here... Uh... Well, not this slide, not this slide. Ah, not this one? Uh, which no. one? The slide where with monopoles. Ah, yes, yeah, so here... Uh, so here is a model with uh, monopoles, yes. This blue line here. No, 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 there was a slide where it was written on the top that everything which is written is about a model ah. uh, This one, since size of course. Similar picture there, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, go, go. No, uh, even before. I... No, no, no. Go to, 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 to the final, almost final slide. Ah, in the end, okay. Yeah. Uh, this one? Yeah. Model is non abelian monopole, same CDM abundance, or I'm missing something. Uh, uh, what is the question? So, uh, so it's in same CDM abundance. Yes, yeah, so we we get always uh, the same CDM abundance. Always. Because, because the relation what? between the mass and uh, decay constant is the same. Then what, Andreas? But why, why do you say here that it is almost the same or approximately the same? Yeah, it is approximately if uh, these off diagonal terms, uh, so if these off diagonal terms are uh, not uh, zero completely, then uh, it is. So, yeah, this, is, uh, this has to do with what uh, Val Valerie asked me. So, about these off diagonal terms here. So, if they are so. Indeed, by uh, SU3 gauge invariance, they should be zero. So uh, if they are zero, then we get just the same uh, low energy Lagrangian and the same uh, cold dark matter abundance. So yes, but if, uh, uh, because we are in the, 
in this uh, theory with non-abelian magnetic monopoles. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. So uh, maybe it is still not zero because uh, we get magnetic SU3 group and not electric one. Uh, but yeah. So. But anyway, because of the billion dominance, this term should be suppressed or, yeah, so. Can I ask one, one extra question? <clears throat> In yes. the case, is, is, there any, is there any possibility of, uh, or any way in which you would just uh, try to distinguish um, uh, an axon with large coupling constant to photon due to the monopoles from mm -hmm. some large electric coupling of, or, or some, let's say 100, uh, a model with K, 100 K, KSBC quarks? Uh, yes, so I think first of all, KSBZ model, uh, uh, okay. Um, uh, so I think no, so, or some, maybe just uh, if we don't have access to UV physics at all, then we are left with this. Uh, yeah. Perhaps something related with early universe cosmology, like the number of degrees of freedom. Yes, yes. So probably like that only. Yes. But again, so here, uh, if we don't want to run into a magnetic monopole problem, we should uh, uh, expect that inflation does not uh, kill, uh, that uh, uh, that we are in the pre-inflationary scenario so that uh, inflation dilutes uh, the monopole abundance and then, I don't know. <laughs> so probably, so I mean, so this is uh, far, far above the highest, the highest KSV set type model from which De Lucio et al. Uh, were considering, but uh, they had some they, they said so we, we we want we don't want to have uh, 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 the uh, so to, to to have the landau landau uh, problem so to say and, and so on and, and so, so they, they never came up so high with a with an axon but yeah but they have some restrictions right so I think yeah yeah they, they, there are some restrictions and so on but uh, yeah Okay, but, I, but I, yeah, but I think, but, but I think for dark matter, it will be completely impossible to have a QCD axon dark matter above in, the, in this region, I guess. Or <laughs> <laughs> normally. Okay. Other other questions? I don't see 